Hello, welcome to SSGTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. The Sudan People Liberation Movement, SPLM, is the dominant party that led South Sudan to its independence in 2011. After two years, in December 2013, South Sudan descended into chaos due to a power struggle within the SPLM between President Salva Kiir and first vice president Dr. Yagmachar. The implosion of the SPLM on the surface is symptomatic, but when you dig deeper, there are underlying issues that may actually kill the SPLM politically unless they are arrested immediately. In this video, we have analyzed five actions SPLM must take to regain public support. Here are they. First, detach itself from NCP sympathizers. The SPLM leadership should purge the party of National Congress Party, NCP sympathizers. The SPLM fought a vicious war against NCP-led government. In the aftermath of independence, the SPLM willfully imported NCP-friendly leaders, notwithstanding the glaring ideological differences the two parties had. These NCP-friendly leaders have no love for the SPLM, the party that liberated South Sudanese from the bondage of Islamic fundamentalists in Sudan. The SPLM leaders need to do the right thing and return the SPLM to its original roots. Secondly, develop a coherent ideology. The SPLM ideology was built around enabling the South Sudanese and other marginalized groups to attain freedom, equality, and prosperity. While the ideology looks good on paper, Practically, it has been diminutive. In practical terms, ideology means freedom, equality, and prosperity, and should work together. You can be free, but if there is no equality in terms of opportunities, you are actually not free, and prosperity means nothing to you. The ideology of freedom, equality, and prosperity for the rich and domination for the poor is the reason South Sudanese are fleeing the SPLM. Thirdly, Invest in public education of citizens. The SPLM must galvanize the masses around a coherent agenda of peace and unity. Peace is vital for the development of South Sudan, both socially and economically. The SPLM must do everything in its power to invest time and resources in pursuing peace in all dimensions across South Sudan. No community should be left behind. All the six four tribes are required around the feast table. The SPLM has a duty to educate South Sudanese to love each other, their country, and the common heritage they share as one stock. Fourthly, remove from its ranks rain seekers and plunderers. There are scores of SPLM leaders who participated in the plundering of South Sudan. These corrupt leaders are working scot free. None has ever been made to account for embezzlement of public funds. South Sudanese feel discouraged from supporting the SPLM because the party has deferred from its true path. South Sudanese are suffering and are tired of empty sloganeering. They want the SPLM to do the right thing, which is to expel plunderers so that much needed public resources can reach them. Fifthly, invest the art of building indigenous led statecraft. The SPLM leaders seem to have failed to transition from a war mentality to a statecraft building. Building a viable state requires all the institution of government to work. State assemblies, the National Assembly, the Judiciary, Law Enforcement and Security Agencies, the Anti-Corruption Commission and all other institutions must work. The SPLM is the right party to make all these things happen. Doing so will create a conducive atmosphere for the maturity of our democracy, which translates to long-term national stability. Considering all this, the SPLM leaders should read the signs of time and correct the biases we have discussed in this video. If they listen, South Sudanese will flock to the SPLM and mass. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to SSGTV South Sudan Global.